Step 74, we're putting the S-glass across the joins, panel joins. If you're using a transparent covering, um, can I suggest that if you're using ink to mark out the S-glass as per step 74, that you just cut the corners off, cut, cut the little um, um, ink marks off. Because again, if you're using transparent film, once the CA hits it, it does that, it dissolves the ink and then spreads it everywhere. So that would be my suggestion there. Uh, 3M77 is pretty uh, pretty hard to find here in Australia, and when you do, it's cost prohibitive. So the, the instructions suggest to you to adhere this to the frame with 3M77. Well, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not going to do that for the above reason, not because I'm oppositional, defiant, or recalcitrant. I just don't want to use 3, 3M77 because it's just so cost prohibitive here. So my method. For what it's worth is I will, for the, for the concave um, join, I press my finger into the middle, lift up the film there, apply a little bit of CA to the centre and then rub it out. And then once I've crossed the join then I can just continue to uh, do the flat bits. It's all pretty straightforward from there. Don't dawdle, of course. This is thin CA, so it's going to move fairly quickly. And when doing the convex side, the opposite side, I'll actually start at one end and work my way along rather than start in the middle. No need to demonstrate that. That was pretty self-explanatory. Okay.